Joker looks like the most humblest motherfucker I've ever seen. I've never looks seen. Like I've never seen a player who won, who's won the NBA championship. And he was just dormant. One last thing. I don't give a lot of props to a lot of big guys, but that's I give true. You all the props in the world, brother. Thank you, Shaq. It means, hey, thank very, you. Very, it means a lot. It should mean a lot. Very, 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 very impressive to watch. You know, Jokic can win his championship. No one's going to care. Let's just be honest. I'm sorry. He's not going to go from where he is right now to this super mega star because he's not doing anything kids want to see. Nikola Jokic's remarkable journey through the 2023 playoffs solidified his position among the NBA's all time greats. While his talent was undeniable before, the missing piece on his resume was significant postseason triumph. However, his leadership and performance led the Nuggets to their first NBA championship in franchise history. Adding the Finals MVP title to his accolades checked off the box of ultimate playoff success for Jokic. His outstanding display at this elite level earned him widespread acclaim and immense respect from veteran NBA legends. Let's explore what these legends had to say about the Serbian center and what sets him apart from other players. Kevin Garnett, an NBA legend, made a noteworthy observation about Jokic's humility. He highlighted how Jokic wasn't in the front row of his team's championship picture. Instead, Jokic stood in the back left corner, showing a rare humility that Garnett admitted he had never seen before. Joker looks like the most humblest guy I've ever seen. He's a one of one. I've never seen the championship picture being taken with your best player in the third row of the picture. During his appearance on JJ Reddick's podcast, Gilbert Arenas delved into Nikola Jokic, casual fans, and the Denver Nuggets. He drew a comparison between Jokic and Tim Duncan, recalling how fans often overlooked Duncan's five championship victories. You know Jokic can win this championship, Arenas said. No one's going to care. Let's just be honest. I'm sorry. He's not going to go from where he is right now to this super megastar because he's not doing anything kids want to see. It's the players, their personality. You know Jokic is great, but uh, he doesn't have it. Magic Johnson, an NBA legend, holds the belief that Denver Nuggets' star Nikola Jokic is reshaping basketball right before our eyes and urges everyone to appreciate the transformation he's bringing to the game. After Jokic's incredible playoff run, Magic congratulated the Serbian center Congratulations to Nikola Jokic for being named the Irvin Magic Johnson Western Conference Finals MVP and averaging 27 points, 14.7 rebounds, and 11.3 assists for the series. Magic congratulated Jokic first. Then, he added that the Serbian forward affects basketball just like many other greats. The Joker is changing the game of basketball right before our very eyes, much like Michael Jordan, Larry Bird, LeBron James, and many others. Before the Joker's arrival to the NBA, Dallas Mavericks legend Dirk Nowitzki was considered the ultimate European big man. Soft touch from both outside and inside the paint. One of the first big man who consistently shot from three-point range. An amazing leader. We can go all day if we start complimenting Dirk's game. Known for his signature one-legged fadeaway jumper, Dirk now has some competition when it comes to most recognizable post moves due to the new phenomenon known on the streets as the Sambor Shuffle or Nikola Jokic's post-fadeaway shot. Dirk's legacy made a big jump when he led the Mavs to a championship in 2011 over the Big Three Miami Heat, something that we now witness with Nikola Jokic's basketball legacy. Dirk is a big basketball fanatic and follows both the NBA and European basketball closely, so of course that he is aware of the Joker's talents. Jokic's got a knack for making tough shots, so I was not really surprised that he ended up making that. He can put the release point all the way behind his head and then shoot it super high in the air with unbelievable mark. I'm happy for him. He's amazing, one of the best players in the world. And he's showing that right now on this stage. Unlike Nowitzki's fadeaway that was always launched off his left leg, the Sambor Shuffle, which Jokic developed in 2017 during shooting workouts while recovering from a sprained left ankle, is launched off his right foot. It's just something that works for him. I never liked shooting off that right foot on that one. I thought I felt it was super hard for me just to coordinate. It was easier off the left foot, but it actually looks pretty smooth for him off the right leg. There's no way to get to it as a defender because he's also 7 feet and moving away from the defender on that shot, it's just impossible to get to. In a conversation with NBA analyst Rachel Nichols on the Showtime Basketball podcast, NBA legend Paul Pierce dismissed the notion that Nikola Jokic ranks as the second greatest passer ever, asserting that the Denver Nuggets big man doesn't even crack the top five in that category. As far as passer, Joker is not even a top five passer to me, Pierce said. 
Just because he's a big man, he's the best big man. But when we just talk about pure passer, you gotta talk about guys like Magic Johnson, Jason Williams, Rondo, and Larry Bird. When we talk about flash and style with it, Joker is great. The Denver Nuggets were ready to kick off their title defense campaign against the Los Angeles Lakers on TNT. And something that caught a spark was that the promo department at TNT failed to acknowledge the champs, leaving 2023 Finals MVP Nikola Jokic off an advertisement. This was something that raised a lot of eyebrows, and Charles Barkley was quick to make a statement. You sent me that graphic, and I showed it to Ernie, and we just want to apologize to the Nuggets, Joker, and the city of Denver. That's completely stupid not having Joker on that graphic. I mean, we're here all day. Charles Barkley, who was one of the most dominant players in the 90s himself, has found Jokic to be reminiscing of Tim Duncan. Despite dominating the game in a different way, Tim Duncan and Nikola Jokic still have some similarities in their game, especially their high basketball IQ, low temper, and zero selfishness. So Chuck has made an interesting point about the two. He's taking it to another level. The thing he tripped out, those one-legged floaters, off the wrong leg and things like that. Hakeem and Kevin McHale, they were going to shoot a fadeaway or an up and under. This dude be shooting one-legged floaters off the wrong leg. Just the way he plays. He's just like, hey, I just want to play basketball. This is my job. I ain't going to complain. If a guy's open, I'm going to pass the ball. I don't care who gets the glory. He reminds me of Tim Duncan. Tim Duncan's the greatest power forward ever. He never complained. Just went out and played basketball. You don't know a lot about him off the court. That's what the Joker reminds me of. Nikola Jokic received the Magic Johnson Western Conference Finals MVP accolade following his lead in the Denver Nuggets sweep against the Los Angeles Lakers. Scottie Pippen, known for his outspoken comments about Michael Jordan, expressed his thoughts on Jokic. I've been looking at Jokic and it's like I think we've all missed how great this guy has been in the last two years. Talking about Jokic's Denver Nuggets, Pippen adds, this season they've been very special. When I watch this guy play, I can say how does the best player in basketball not get picked in a pickup game? Shaq is known as the most dominant force in all of basketball's history. The Diesel was not someone you wanted to be matched up against. Despite dominating the game due to his overpowering frame and athleticism, Shaq was quite a skilled big man himself. You don't put up 30 points in a season in the 2000s on muscle alone. Shaq was a great rim protector in his early days, however, as his career went on, and he started to put up more mass, he was falling down a bit, but still remained an above-average defender. Despite all of that, and Jokic being one of the hardest centers to guard in NBA history, Shaq sees him as a pretty good matchup, who he wouldn't have any problems with while defending. Only way he would be able to score on me is in a pick-and-roll situation because I'd probably have to help with Jamal Murray, which frees him up a little bit. If he's going down in the post, I don't want no help. If he shoots a jump hook over me, good shot. Despite appreciating Jokic's talents and skills, Shaq still can't admit that the Joker would be a problem for him. But at the end of the day, it is all love between the two guys. During a game break between the Nuggets and Los Angeles Lakers, Shaq told Jokic, Volim te. That means I love you in Serbian, which is Jokic's native language. Jokic seemed genuinely touched with Shaq's telling him that message in Serbian, and he replied with the same response, just in English. Lakers legend and the man on the NBA logo, Jerry West was one of the first highly skilled on-ball players in NBA history. A great eye for talent, proven on multiple occasions during his career as a general manager, the logo is a big-time fan of Nikola Jokic's game. The Los Angeles Lakers great says the Serbian center's thinking on the court is that like some of the NBA's best. He thinks like Magic Johnson, Larry Bird, Chris Paul, LeBron James, and he's seven feet tall. You watch him and he shoots shots and you say, oh my goodness, this has no chance. But the key to him is he has incredible hands. If you look at a rebound, four or five guys are there and he just reaches for a rebound. He can be right in the middle of eight hands. And somehow that ball comes out in his hands. He's just remarkable, fun to watch. When he's playing, it looks like he's playing in hammock. He looks so relaxed. Reggie Miller is one of the NBA's all-time greatest shooters. Now an NBA analyst, Reggie can sometimes find himself being biased in favor of his peers from his playing days. Despite being a big-time Nikola Jokic fan and huge admirer of his game, Reggie still can't put Nikola's name next to those of Hakeem and David Robinson. I would say he would be knocking on the door. I can't put him in there with the dream yet. I can't put him in there with David Robinson because he's going to have to win another championship. With the numbers he has put up, he is historic. We've never seen anything like it before. 
He's somewhat of a unicorn, with the ability to score, to assist, to rebound. The passes have been phenomenal, but at the end of the day, it's just one championship. And I know people want to get caught up in that, yeah. If he builds up a body of work, and he comes back with another championship, then we can open the door and start having these conversations. But with one championship, I can't put him in there with Hakeem, who has two. David Robinson, I believe, has two or three. It's very difficult for me to put him in that company. He's nowhere near Shaq, in my opinion, in terms of centers. Hakeem the Dream was one of, if not the best center in the 1990s NBA era. Known for his tremendous footwork, soft touch around the rim, but mostly for his dream shake, from which he earned his nickname, Hakeem was a force to be reckoned with during his prime days. He was so good down in the post that after finishing his playing career, he started teaching his bag of tricks to NBA players. LeBron James, Kevin Garnett, Dwight Howard, as well as many other NBA legends, are all students of Hakeem the Dream. A player whose game relied mostly on his skills rather than athleticism is obviously going to like Nikola Jokic's game, whose game relies on skill and basketball IQ only. He's playing the game and you think he's not serious, but he's so effective. His shot, his fakes, they are very difficult to time. You don't know when he's faking and when it's real. He has tricks, he's the one. In today's NBA, there are exceptional defenders, yet none have found a solid plan to counter Nikola Jokic. His prowess in scoring across all zones and top-notch court vision make it difficult for defenders to anticipate his moves. His skill level is so advanced that hardly any strategy seems effective against him. Already considered one of the greatest, it's a privilege to witness Nikola Jokic's exceptional performances at this elite level.